Welcome back guys, in this episode of building an overland four wheel drive, we completely go through and respray the truck. Now of course, to pull that off, we are gonna need a few items. Luckily, the panel store online can actually completely supply you with a kit that does it all. It comes with a predetermined color, all the stuff you need to actually paint your truck, minus the gun and the compressor. Uh, but otherwise, that's how we went about doing this. We just ordered the kit, had the compressor, had the gun from the Jeep, and dug into it. So, let's see what you get. The one thing I did need and had to go buy was going to be, of course, a respirator. Uh, you do not want to be painting in the garage without one of these. Definitely, if you're thinking about doing any sort of panel work, any painting, any sand, anything, uh, think about a respirator. Think about your lungs. So, respirator, that was like 90 bucks from minor 10. Gonna need some sandpaper. My plan is to use 120 to rip the original coating off and 400 to sort of smooth it all out before the primer. So sandpaper, you can order that from the panel store as well. A rag or a few rags. You're gonna have to order yourself a spray gun or get yourself a spray gun. I think this one was like 50 bucks from Repco. It's a Mech Pro one. Um, you know, we used it for the Jeep. It's just a, a gravity fed. Does the job pretty nice and handily and that's pretty much the gist of it. A gun. What remains, um, oh, minus that, um, this is, it says window cleaner, it's rubbing alcohol, um, Pepsol, you do get some in the kit, so it's good to get a little spray bottle to go with it, to basically just, once you've finished sanding, spray it all down, wipe it all out. So, Prepsol comes in the kit, spray bottle does not. You're then gonna go through after the Prepsol and wipe it all down. You've got tack cloths here, I haven't used them because I have no idea what they're for. So I don't know what they're for, so I didn't use them. Once you've gone through and sanded it all down, you're going to have to mask it up. So it comes with uh, heaps, actually. As you can see, there's still plenty left. Uh, oh, I've already painted the truck, by the way. Um, there's still plenty, plenty left. So I could even do another truck. I might do another truck. I've got plenty of gear here left to actually do maybe another one full vehicle uh, so my sister wants her vehicle painted so we might do that over Christmas but uh, plenty of masking left it doesn't look like much but it actually ends up folding out about four or five times over to about a sheet this size so you got plenty there to worry about that masking tape painters tape it's good stuff um, I tried using also some green stuff from Mata 10 it was shit I uh, don't recommend it it didn't do as well as this yellow stuff so if you can maybe order some more from panel store for that um, then onto the primer and the paint oh you get four liters here of primer filler I've still got heaps in here so I could do another vehicles if I wanted to yeah um, four liters of primer which of course needs to be thinned down so you've got plenty of thinner there too that's your first coat do a few coats of primer um, using your mixing cups to mix it all so it comes with two sizes of mixing cups uh, you got five in the little sizes. I only used two of these, I think. This is all dried, isn't it? Ooh, it hasn't. It's still soft. That's probably why my truck's not that great. Um, no, I've used three of these. One for primer, one for paint, and one for the clear coat. So they give you heaps of mixing cups if you want to keep doing more jobs. Then comes the main coat. So the kit uh, came with a predetermined color. I think I could pick from like four colors. It was like the gunmetal gray, which is what I went for. There was a white, maybe a purple and a green, and a, uh, maybe a black. I don't know, there's not too many colors, but I went for the gunmetal gray. It came out bloody good in the end. So if you want to do the same color, I recommend it. I still got probably two liters of that left. Um, then finally the clear coat. So it comes with, uh, where are we? 2K clear coat. Um, now 2K does actually basically require you to bake it, to which I couldn't. I painted it oh, two months ago now, a month ago. Um, I painted it when it was raining, uh, thunderstorms were, we had electrical storms outside actually, it was raining, it was snowing, it was not the warmest of conditions. Along with that comes the thinner for your 2K clear coat and the hardener for your 2K clear coat. And that is the kit. Let's just see how the painting went, eh? The truck when I bought it had the sort of paint blemishes on it. I don't know, something's gone over the bonnet and the roof. 
ruined the paint. I've scratched the crap out of it and it's also a terrible color. Basically I've just taken everything off the truck um, as much as I can really, headlights, bumpers, flares and whatnot. These ones are staying because these ones, uh, I don't want to break the clips that hold them on, so they can stay. First of all, mask it and sand it, let's kick into that. Two more hours work, this has been a lot of work. We're at a point now where I can probably go over, wipe it all down with Crepsol, it's basically Crepsol surface, it's a wax and grease remover so there's nothing on there, and then kick straight into the first pro coat primer. A um, little excited, let's just do it now. So back to the primer, this is the primer I use on the Jeep. Now it's just two to one, so it's nice and simple. So we're gonna go two to one. Uh, we need 500 mils, I guess, so let's go. So we're about. There, and then another 150 takes us to. There. Then a bit of a stir. Nice and easy. Let's get painting. Right, so my other camera's run out of power and other bits and pieces it's noisy out there uh, so my other camera is running out of power and we're down to this camera which isn't as stable as the other one nor can it do time lapse but we are about to put on our color as you can see it is primed already now it's for the color I'm gonna do probably one spray because I have dinner in about half an hour so let's get a coat on there and see how she looks So this is the color. It's sort of a gunmetal silver, more than a gunmetal gray. I'm thinking about so much right now, like the mask, how much paint to put on. Got to think about how to actually spray it. Then I've kind of forgot to press start when we wanted to actually start painting. But you can see the color now. You can see how it's going to turn out. Now, a couple more coats and it's going to be pretty good. So it's been one night in the shed so far uh, with one base coat on it. So far she's come up not too bad in the end. A little bit lighter, I think, than I'd like, but we will um, put a couple more coats on and we'll see how it comes out. So far, though, she's looking pretty good. Like a brand new vehicle, really. Pretty happy with it. A couple more coats and we're into the clear. Should be out of here today. So last night, Queenstown had one of the largest storms we've sort of dealt with in a while. Thunder, lightning, the whole shebang, the whole um, South Island had weather warnings. And so what I'm dealing with now is the roof is leaking. It's actually dropping water, uh, droplets of water onto the truck, which is a little frustrating to deal with. You can see it all tucked in there. Really frustrating to deal with. Because of course, I need a nice dry environment to be able to properly paint. But ultimately, second coat's on now, she's starting to get a little darker. 
but you can see here a painful little little droplet that has then been left without me noticing not too bad but hopefully the paint will pick it up there's other sort of smaller ones around overall it's just kind of painful if you can catch it really painful but otherwise overall it's actually not too bad she's going on nicely it's just a little frustrating with one there and uh, and on the other side quite happy with it though she's coming out real pretty So that's three base coats now sitting on the truck. The actual finish is not too bad. And our next step is going to be clear coating. That's a little worrying in there. First coat of hardener going on. Oh, clear coat. See how it goes. So that is the second coat of clear on there now. And there's not bad if you ask me. Just come out looking pretty tiny for an old rig. So it goes to show what a new coat of paint can do. There's a few imperfections, but you get that painting in an old shed, you're gonna get dust and bits and pieces. So overall, I'm thoroughly impressed by it. The truck's gonna look mean by the end. So we'll give this a couple of hours to sort of clear up. We'll go through and tear off all the masking um, leave it 24 hours and then I'll put everything back to on, on it and we should have a pretty much a new looking truck exciting now for the official reveal and the fun part so we might as well just kick into it and start tearing need a box of some sort of crawler thing There's one side unmasked. As you can see, it's a bit of a different truck now um, with the color change. Far more of what I'd actually like to be driving around. And it's gonna suit it once it gets a bit more power under it. 